going on guys, welcome back, my name is Russian Sokol and in this video we're gonna talk about the artifacts of the Iron Lords, the Champion of the Light quest, which is a noble deeds performed, we need to perform 100% of noble deeds, now the best thing to do is definitely head to the Plaggy Lands, Plaggy Lands, I do not know how to pronounce it, so I'm very sorry, now here's the thing, there's a lot of rumors, there's a lot of different ways, uh, there's a lot of shit people talking about that this is, this is what you can do, this is what you can do. I'm here to kind of verify a few uh, of the rumors, make them uh, true or false, and uh, kind of give you a little bit of an information about the noble deeds. Um, so, here's the thing. Does noble deeds increase if you play the raid? Yes, it does. It does increase by playing the raid. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, I'm not 100% sure if if you complete the raid from beginning to end, you will have a 100%. I cannot uh, tell you that. I have not tried it, but I do know that it will increase your noble deeds. Now, playing a new Rise of Iron Strike, will it increase your noble, noble deeds? Yes, it will. I'm not sure if you can keep playing it and it will, it will constantly increase. But I do know that if you play once, it will give you a percentage. Now, what kind of percentage? I have no idea. I have never tried it. This is the all information I'm guys giving you that I found throughout the whole internet. Lots and lots of forums, lots of uh, YouTube videos, and everything that I'm trying to get this one video for you guys that, you know, get some information. Now, uh, playing Arkans Forge, I would say the most fun uh, and the best way to do it. Now, you have a blue... Um, ha actually, you have a green offerings, you have a blue offerings, and you have a purple offerings, right? So, I believe each offering will definitely, uh, if play by playing it once, uh, green, blue, and purple, you will receive a percentage. Now, the second time, you might not, but I, I kind of do believe logically that you will, because offerings are very hard to receive, right? It's, it's not very hard, but it is harder to... Uh, find offerings, offerings because you have to kill enemies and so on and it is considered to be as a random trap okay so now uh, I did read and I did found that um, some people were saying uh, if you kill one enemy like a drag a red bar enemy uh, you kill or a shank doesn't matter any red bar enemy if you kill one you will receive half of a percent so 0 0.5% so you have to kill two of them to receive one percent. Now I went in as in as you can see on the background gameplay, which is that's what I'm, I was doing. I was trying out all those things. Not everything I tried, but I did try some of the stuff that was you know was able to to do. So I did first time when I when I just got into the uh, patrol area, I did kill uh, two enemies. I did receive one percent. Uh, now. People were talking about if you kill a yellow bar uh, enemy, which is, could be a broodmother or a captain, uh, you will receive 2%. Um, kill the broodmother, did not receive shit. Have, didn't get no percentage. Uh, it's, it is possible that it is only once that you can do for it, because I did start it out, I think, I believe I had 10% or so. Yeah, I, I believe I had 10% already done. So I did play it yesterday a little bit uh, in the patrol area, so it's possibly that I did call or kill, very sorry, uh, possibly I killed the broodmother yesterday, which is, I actually do that now, every time I see it, I do actually go and kill it, because it constantly, 100% will give you a splicer key. So every time I see it, I go ahead and kill it. So it's possible that it, it does give you 2%, but only once. Now, um... Killed more and more enemies, uh, still my, my percentage was not increasing. Then a public event came up and that was my first public event this week. So I did uh, complete it, I received all the, well not this week, actually daily, so today. Uh, so I did receive the uh, daily reward, you know, the Ingram and uh, all the other stuff, all the goodies. And uh, I did receive a 5% uh, of a noble deeds. So by completing that once, you do receive uh, five, about 5% five for sure. Um, so to me, it seems like uh, the way Bungie did this is that 
you can kind of get this in one day, which is possibly, I, I heard people were doing it in a few hours, they were completing that, uh, which is, it's a, it's a very reasonable time, and uh, it's, I could believe that easy, uh, because I do believe the first time this uh, quest came up last week, the, the week the game came out, um, I did, we did, me and my friends finished it in probably a couple hours. So, um, of course, maybe the Anchor's Forge helped, because we did play a lot of the Anchor's Forge, um, but um seems like that's what they do pretty much each day you can come in you can kill two enemies you receive one percent two red bar enemies you you kill a uh, yellow bar which is a dim work the yellow bar so maybe my my kind of a, uh what's the word i'm looking for um mm, my theory is probably not right because i did kill a, a yellow bar today and i didn't receive anything so i don't know how it all works in perfect way but um pretty much the be not the best way but this is what you guys gotta do you go into the patrol right uh go ahead kill some enemies as you you're still gonna be doing that kill some enemies kill some brood mothers collect some splicer keys you know you never know uh bungee might have more secrets uh, that coming out when the hard rate comes out we might gonna need a lot of those splicer keys so just keep collecting those um Definitely go ahead and uh, maybe play a strike, go on Heroic or something, play the new new Rise of Iron strike, uh, that should increase you. Definitely if your light light level is good, go and play a raid. Um, then what else we have? Anchor's Forge, oh my god, the best thing ever. Um, definitely guys go in there and play. Uh, actually gonna have a link on my screen as you probably can see it right now. That's a link to my video I made uh, I believe yesterday. Um, this is about what you can get in anchor uh, anchors forge that is uh, exclusive gear exclusive weapons that you can only get from there so it is definitely worth to go in there and have fun just make sure you bring some friends which will be much easier to have all these offerings but anyways play the anchors forge play the raid try the strike um definitely kill some enemies oh another thing i did uh open one of the chests in patrol area and it did gave me i believe one percent so opening chests uh, counts as that too. I'm not. I don't think it's every single time you open a chest, but it is a possibility. Uh, I was looking for another chest, but I didn't find. I did not really. Did not really had that much of a time to spend in Destiny today. I'm busy at work and everything, so I'm, I apologize about that, guys. Um, but yeah, Arkans for trade strike. Uh, Duffin the. Patrol missions. Uh, I know that I did yesterday. I believe two of them, and I believe that each one of them gave me four percent. But today I finished one. It did not give me, as you can see on the video, it did not give me. I believe even a one percent for it. So it's all kind of depends. It could be that it's connected to areas in the patrol. Well, you know, I mean like uh, Arkans um, Forge area, the keep Arkans keep area, uh, bunker. Um, all those areas it's possible that it's connected that in each area actually that makes sense that it is there is a possibility that you know if you go in each area and you kill a yellow bar you kill some enemies there you can you complete some patrols there which is you are still going to be doing there is few quests uh, weekly quests uh, that have popped out that you have to complete 15 patrol missions so anyways guys I want, i'm gonna stop talking uh this is getting a little bit too long probably i already lost most of you whoever is still here thumbs up you guys are awesome thank you for staying up and uh keep listening to my uh uh russian uh, uh, never mind that wasn't funny anyways um but yeah thank you and um yeah i hope you guys uh this video have explained you a few things, uh, gave you some ideas uh, to think about it, how the best way to get this, because this is not a video to show you the best way, this is just an information video, uh, just uh, the stuff I was able to find um, through the internet, through the forums, collecting a little bit here, a little bit there, and going in myself into the game and trying them out, because I do not want to feed you with bullshit, okay? I do not want to do that. I went in and I tried most of the stuff. At least 80% of the stuff I have tried to verify with you guys and let you know that, hey, because I don't want to come out and say, hey, kill each enemy. It's a 0.5% for each red uh, bar enemy. 
No, it's not, guys. It is not. Um, it is works like that, but it doesn't constantly works like that. Okay. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. All the likes are always and always appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.